Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We are back at it with Compassionate Citizens, and we have one of our favorites here, our, one of our favorite Compassionate Citizens, Marianne of Waikiki, Marianne Ambrose. Uh, we know her as well as the co-host of the Hawaii Happy Neighborhood Project. Again, my name is Kurt Roscoff. I'm always pleased to be your host here at the Compassionate Citizens Podcast, um, born out of what is known out there as the Compassionate Citizens Project. And you can find that all on Facebook as such, the Compassionate Citizens Project uh, page on Facebook. And then there is a uh, Compassionate Citizens group uh, that all of you out there can join as well. Um, so we are on our way here. We are all operating under the World of Ability Podcast Network that is powered by and made possible by the Transform You Media Network. And we give great thanks out there to Marcus Hart and uh, the whole enterprise here. And we have another podcasting company taking a look at everything we're doing here. So we are on the grow here at the Compassion Citizens Podcast. So uh, we're going to get right into it here. We um, are moving forward in the collaboration and being a stakeholder in the Indiegogo campaign for the Acts of Kindness. Again, you can find that at actsofkindness.website uh, for that campaign of $20,210. That's adding a zero onto the year 2021. And uh, so let's get to it. And we're also growing that out. That's going to spawn off to uh, bloom to uh, what's uh, been told out there that we are going to also do a hundred thousand dollars in a hundred days. So lots going on here, lots to do. And again, we have the app games and the book and the, um, the puppets, you know, lots set up here, the finger puppets. And so we're into sign language. So, Marianne, you've been on here on our network um, a lot, you know, which is great. There's a lot to your project, um, different parts, and it's all evolving. And so what would you say has come down the pike in the last week? What's the update, Marianne? Well, aloha, Kurt and Emily, and mahalo, mahalo, mahalo for Transform You and Media Network and Marcus. And... Uh, Lots of exciting events are going to be happening. So are you going to be okay, A-okay with it, Kurt and Emily? Are you A-okay with the Acts of Kindness projects? A-okay. All righty. Yeah. So, well, we are continuing to promote on Happy Neighborhood Projects, uh, morning, noon, and night, Clubhouse, the Indiegogo Project, to raise $20,210. So that I can bring the Acts of Kindness book series into animation movies with sign language characters, which is 200 folk manis puppets. And they're a company out of California that distribute puppets to aquariums, schools, uh, businesses. And they're partnering with me because all classroom teachers, Kurt, can get copies of my books from Donors Choose. They just need to take 10 minutes to fill out an application on donors choose with their license number as a teacher and request books for every single student for their school or for their classroom and post it. And then they can go to Amazon and a la carte and select the puppets of their choice uh, that they'd like for the book featuring the sea creatures. So Folk Manus is an amazing company. They've been around for uh, over 50 years. Uh, they create these amazing, amazing puppets. They're amazing quality. You touch them, you love them. You find out who who's similar to you. If you were to be an animal, what kind of animal would you be? And what kind of Folk Manus puppet would you be? It's just great fun. And they're educational tools uh, for us to learn basic sign language skills, our tactile skills, our uh, sight skills, a feel, touch, uh, smell, uh, taste, uh, hearing, all those senses are stimulated with these folk manus puppets. So I had the opportunity to talk to the owner yesterday and uh, told him about the uh, exciting news of being here as a co-host, uh, being uh, part of these podcast with Transform You Media Network every Tuesday and anybody can join us and hopefully we'll have them join us in the future to talk about the Folk Manus Puppet 
company and the development and designs of these puppets. So, uh, and uh, so we still want to get these characters out into the world and we're making it happen. And speaking of getting things out into the world, I just got off the phone with another partner, Leon McLaughlin, uh, who is based out of Seattle, Washington, who designed uh, a company called Clean Water Foundations. It's a 501c nonprofit that they bring filters to schools. And he just shared some exciting news. I hope that he will join us next Tuesday um, as he's preparing uh, to come visit Hawaii and uh, have some meetings with myself and I and other schools and other projects, but they are taking uh, filters to Peru and to India in the future. And I believe in August, he said. So they have raised about $4 million uh, to bring these uh, equipment uh, to these other countries for Clean Water Foundation. So I'm real excited for him to join us in the future as a speaker. Uh, and he said he should be able to make it next week, Tuesday. So I'm real excited. Again, thank you, Mahalo, Mahalo, Leon McLaughlin, Clean Water Foundation and anybody can donate to that. So speaking of clean water, uh, Kurt, the book Underwater Acts of Kindness is again written for animation movies with sign language characters, sea creatures, by the way. And there's a huge garbage patch between Hawaii and California. And in 1999, Captain Charles Moore of the Algelita Moore Research uh, Foundation uh, recognized this great Pacific garbage patch while sailing over on a Trans-Pacific sailboat race uh, in 1999. And uh, I got the opportunity to talk to Captain Moore uh, right before Christmas to tell him that I had a chapter dedicated to this great Pacific garbage patch and we highlight him with his research and he loved it. So hopefully we'll get him to join us in the future as well as a speaker. So I have a list of people that can join us in future podcast. So again, thank you. Anybody can join us on Tuesdays at Transform You Media Network, Wednesdays with Emily Pathways to Prosperity or Prosperity to Pathways, either way, however you want to do it. We're still going to hop down that path with a hard of hearing rabbit named Harry. And we'll talk about that in the future with rabbit acts of kindness, no bully. And then on Fridays, it's, are you gonna be okay with the Aloha Friday with Marianne of Waikiki? So we are starting it off and kicking it off with a clubhouse at 10 o'clock Hawaii Standard Time. So if you're in California or three hours difference, that'll be one o'clock. And, uh, and then we will roll over to the AOK Aloha Friday podcast, which will be streaming Facebook live. So again, anybody can join us as being a speaker and we can talk story and share the Aloha spirit of what you're doing uh, out there as a business owner, community member, parent, grandparent, uh, just somebody who just wants to give a care about an act of kindness development and projects. So again, we are looking for speakers. We're, we're so excited to share all this and we, we can't wait to show all this great information and show Marcus all these great speakers that we have lined up. And uh, Dr. Liddy uh, will hopefully be joining us this Friday, who is guiding the Acts of Kindness uh, project, the book series. Uh, the app games and business of Marianne of Waikiki. So we hope she will join us on Friday to give us an update to make sure that we are all protected. Uh, as well as I want to share that anybody who has a website needs to contact Happy Neighborhood Project Trevor Gibbs in Orlando because the American Disabilities Act is checking your website. And if you're not up to standards, you could be possibly violated and and uh, served with a fine. So take the time, give Trevor Gibbs a call in the Happy Neighborhood Project in Orlando. And actually Dr. Liddy, I believe is on that Happy Neighborhood Projects. And I think they're in Central Florida on Fridays again. So what a busy morning. It starts on Friday for four o'clock in the morning for me. And uh, I'm just loving it. Going to the East Coast, to all the way to the West Coast on this Happy Neighborhood Project. So mahalo Edwin and 
it's just so beautiful, Kurt. They just all these amazing emails I'm getting to join these master classes to build your skills, to help build your business skills, and how this community of everybody is working together to support everybody with their projects by giving names and leads and contact numbers, by showing up, being present, and supporting people who are speaking and leading. And, and it's just so, so happy. And I'm just so happy today, Kurt. So how happy are you today, Kurt and Emily? I'm so happy. I, I gotta keep looking out my window and make sure the cops aren't coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, it's a good day. Uh, it's uh, Tuesdays when we produce this. Um, we always start our podcast uh, production just a uh, couple hours ahead of our water ski night. So we're heading out to the lake this evening and the Pewaukee Lake Water Ski Club is going to be, you know, rehearsing uh, building pier human pyramid walls and doing uh, what's called the TikTok where, you know, you have slalom skiers uh, behind a boat and then the one slalom skier on the single ski goes around to go clockwise the other one goes around counterclockwise and they go three both go 360 degrees around the boat uh different directions and they call it a tick tock wow <laughs> yeah. so, so and then we've got one of our members she skis on a canoe paddle have you ever seen anybody ski on a canoe paddle no no so yeah a new the, paddle hmm yeah so so yeah your skiing surface is just that little bottom part of the canoe paddle and then you got that long handle that more so can just get in your way <laughs> you don't need it for the skiing but it does help to put it the long handle does help to put it in the proper place you know to find your heel to get your foot in position to go on that canoe paddle and um so so, and I got to keep looking at my script because I do the announcing for the ski shows every Thursday evening. And um, next set, a week from this Saturday, uh, we have a community event that is teamed up with the local Kiwanis Club. They've been doing for decades uh, what's known as the Pewaukee Beach Party. And our ski club um, has for over a decade been teamed up with them to do what's called the Lake Country Clean Water Festival. So you're talking about clean water. So we're doing stuff um, in our local community as well um, to, you know, make that commitment to clean water at, at our local lake. Awesome. Well, let me just share with you what Leon had sent over to me. And again, we hope Leon McLaughlin from Clean Water Foundation will be joining us as a key speaker next week. So he sent me the Airline Ambassadors International, a virtual concert to help the Hopi and Navajo uh, tribe, uh, August 21st on 2021. What a significant date again. So I'm trying to raise my Indiegogo campaign by June 21st of 2021, and he's August 21st of 2021. Great, great days to be working. And it's World Water Day that day, Kurt. Did you know that? World Water Day on August 21st, 2021. And uh, join us in the project, the Protectors of Mother Earth. I'll just read this to you. The Hopi and Navajo tribe live with reference and respect for all those and who have done so since inheriting the land from their ancestors. They view their land as sacred and treated as such. By the, They have encountered a mom, momentual monumental program. Their water has been tainted with deadly chemicals. It is time for the world to band together and protect the Hopi and Navajo who have protecting planet Earth for hundreds of years. So they're having Kurt a virtual concert on Saturday, August 21st, 2021. And the Kurt concert will feature airline ambassadors such as Global Youth Ambassador, Olivia Ooms, Keaton Simmons, Tony Battle and the Marlowe Band, Rays, and many more. Here are some backgrounds of the rising star of their generation, Olivia Um and Tony Battle, Battles Native Tears, written for Hopi. 
Wow, impressive. The concert will be hosted by award-winning television journal and Chris Hansen and the actress Marisol Nic Nicholas with participation with John Eric Demery Jr. and David Jefferson with Stacking Kits. Wow, what a lineup here. So we must get out the word, Kurt, and we can go and you can hashtag clean water number four First Nations, and I'll send that over to you again. It's hashtag clean water number four First Nations. This is a similar what happened to an Ohio in the upcoming movie Dark Waters, and you can see the trailer here. Inspired by a plight facing the Hopi and Navajo nations, airline ambassadors, clean water foundations, and a team of musicians are hosting this concert to raise awareness and support. See the background on this project. See, get your tickets. They got great uh, designs here, logos, just, uh, uh, I don't know how you express it, but the, the, the feathers around uh, the, Na the Navajo head. Uh, there's a water here. Uh, there's a eagle. Um, there's the great seal of the Navajo Nation judicial branch, the Hopi. Uh, just amazing, so support our concert for the Hopi and Navajo. And uh, one of Seattle's most prolific artists, Ryan Henry Ward, created a special art piece for the event to piss the divine feminine and the flow of water. See the video highlighting and painting donations of PPE for, for Hopi, Navajo nations and Peru from Swedish and Providence hospitals. Wow, this is an update as the trucks leave for Arizona with donations from the Providence and Swedish hospitals. I have a video here. I haven't had a chance because I just got off the phone with Leanne before we just started this Transform You Media Network and uh, Compassionate Citizens. So again, I'm hoping that Leanne McLaughlin will join us as a key speaker next week. And so to listen to the podcast with Crystal Kelly and Neil Dot executive director of AquaFed and moderator for the UN event. A virtual campfire with Crystal Kelly and Tom Griffith, strategic advisor for Clean Water Foundation. Ernest Tahoe, Black Mesha Trust, Leon McLaughlin, Clean Water Foundation, and Nanny Revarb, AAI, Natural Choice Networks. So then there's just a bio here and I sent that to you. And, and hopefully we can bring these singers uh, and speakers uh, to our podcast before the event to help support their event with this project. So just amazing here. Uh, Tony Battle is here and to link a song called Native Tears, written for the Hopi people in his interview. Wow, and the Woo Woos will do a grounding meditation near the beginning of the virtual event to ground the energy in order to allow the musicians to raise their vibrations with crystal bowls and other 432 hertz instruments used for sound healing. Music based on 432 hertz transmits beneficial healing energy because it is a pure tone of math fundamental to nature. It is mathematically consistent with the universe. The grounding of meditation will allow present to connect with each other and Mother Earth. Footage from the Shastra track will also be included. Wow, this is amazing, Kurt. You know, I have talked about those sulfigial frequencies and now they're grounding the earth with this concert. It's just, it's just gonna be sound amazing. It's gonna vibrate worldwide. And the list just goes on uh, with this. Water for Life, Community, Water Security, Time Stop Concerts, uh, just you might be uh, also interested the airline ambassadors is proud to be a part of the airports to freedom campaign raising awareness of human trafficking. Ashley Woods and Nancy Rivard were recently interviewed by the Melissa Samanine of the American Association of Airport Executives. The AAAE is helping to promote the opportunity to airports in the US. Wow. Yes, all these amazing people here. Olivia Ooms, El Salvador's response. Wow, AAI provides medical escorts, human, human humanitarian aid to communities around the world and is a leading advocate for awareness of human trafficking prevention and the aviation industry. 
Airline Ambassadors International. So the contact information is Airline Ambassadors International. And that number is 866-ANGEL-86. That's 1866, letters A-N-G-E-L-86, or the number is 1-866-264-3546 or airlineamb.org. Strong United Nations, Better World. So just an amazing project. Airline Ambassador is a CFC charity, hashtag 44822. That is an impressive flyer. It is gonna be an amazing concert. And I'm so excited for Leon McLaughlin to come over to Hawaii and spend quality time and talk about the Acts of Kindness book series and to help promote this. I know uh, we had uh, set up uh, last year, Kurt, um, I sailed over to the Hawaiian Islands, uh, the schools over in Molokai and Maui, and I was sailing for Clean Water Foundation. And uh, Leon and I had met and uh, um, I showed him the business plan. And so he wanted to put uh, the Acts of Kindness book, Underwater Acts of Kindness book as part of a package, a ticket concert package with Jimmy Buffett last year, Memorial Weekend uh, to raise funds for Clean Water Foundation and filters for the Bahamas after they were hit with a hurricane. And we had reviewed my business plan, uh, the retail, uh, of putting the books along with part of a ticket package, possibly t-shirts um, to be at this concert at the MIA Stadium out of Miami last year, Memorial Weekend. However, we had to stay at home. So he's still moving forward now with these virtual events. So we can also do that with uh, Lucy and the perfect way to do fundraising. And we just all want to be, uh, you know, acts of kindness here to support these amazing foundations, uh, clean water filters worldwide. They're going to Peru, they're going to India, he told me. And uh, it's just unlimited of what we can all do. So again, all classroom teachers can request copies of my books from Donors Choose, and they can get set of puppets. And if you let us know about your clean water situation at your local schools, I'm sure Leon McLaughlin from Seattle uh, clean Water Foundation will be more than happy to assist your schools in bringing filters for clean water worldwide. Isn't that impressive, Kurt? Wow. We're going to meet him next week. Good stuff. I am looking forward to it. And uh, thanks for putting that all together and bringing all that information. I uh, marked it down on my calendar that is a day that we produce uh, the world of ability, but I think we're going to devote the episode to more um you know catch people that if they're not aware of that virtual concert to uh, jump on over um i didn't catch the times but i'm guessing uh we do our podcasting at like nine in the morning for you right on saturdays yes so um so i'm guessing that the concert might be going on at that time or or doesn't it show that uh, I know I, I apologize. I, I didn't see it, but they're in Arizona. So that's at least three hours difference from me. So yeah. it could be starting at that time. Um, yeah. but, so uh, however that works out timing wise, uh, you know, we'll see what we can do to kind of um, get some incremental attendance, increase attendance for that virtual concert through, through all of our podcasts that we're doing between now and through then. And uh, make that something that we're accomplishing together. So that sounds really good. Right, again, that's World Water Day, virtual concert to help the Hopi and Navajo on August 21st, 2021. Leon McLaughlin Clean Water Foundations. It's a virtual concert on a Saturday. Excellent. So, uh, so another um, piece of development coming from a different front is uh, with what we're doing here on the Tuesday podcast. Um, Wednesdays, we're producing Prosperity Pathways, um, but kind of in some marketing opportunities that we have, uh, we're bundling our podcasts together two by two, almost like Noah's Ark, you know, <laughs> come aboard two by two. So at least two podcasts a week for 
our podcast bundles. So we're bundling together um, prosperity pathways with compassionate citizens and maybe even more bringing in the onward and upward aspect of things. And then like you were talking about on Aloha Fridays with World of Ability on Saturdays, um, it's kind of a format progression uh, that we have going on here at the World of Ability Podcast Network. So things keep growing that way. And uh, we do have an event coming up for Prosperity Pathways as well. That'll be Friday, July 2nd. Um, Emily, are you there? Or do you want to do the honors of putting out the public service announcement on the fundraiser for Onward and Upward? The Onward and Upward um, fundraiser, it's going to be a smash party. Um, Emily, are you there? All right, so um, it's a $20 minimum donation to participate. Um, and it's going to be on Zoom. Um, and with 15 minutes of smashing something and then 15 minutes of meditation right after that. Um, and so it's at 4 Central on July 2nd. All right. Thanks, Emily. So, Marianne, we're going to have to figure something out, how to bundle the, the work with Onward and Upward and what you're doing with your Indiegogo campaign. Um, it's a classmate made of mine um, from middle school and high school um, that is providing the format of the Smash Party available on Zoom. So people all over the world can participate. And it happens to be right at the time that we have Aloha Fridays on Zoom. And it's facilitated through Prosperity Pathways for the Onward and Upward fundraiser and our podcasting for Aloha Fridays at that same time. So uh, we're going to have to figure something out. And so I know fundraising wise um, with the Indiegogo campaign and donors choose and donating to acts of kindness, um, you know, so maybe we can uh, collaborate with Anne Marie of Living. And maybe if on your side of things, Marianne, if you're interested in the smash party uh, maybe your supporters could come in as well money's going towards acts of kindness and then um, and then having the smash party right there you know smashing and smushing together acts of kindness with onward and upward you know and maybe benefit uh, both groups at the same time so we'll, we'll have to talk about that but um, but we do have to coordinate the time one way or another because that is a committed event by prosperity pathways and we will figure that out one way or another. So, um, you know, cause otherwise I have my own platform. Uh, we could come on zoom to my platform that I get through the happy neighborhood project and then, um, just capture recording and get it out there. Um, after these events, um, get that podcasting going. So, so other than that, uh, Marianne, are there other things that you wanted to make sure to cover today or did you get it all in already? Or how are we doing? Uh, just, I want to just keep putting out to the universe that we're, we have invitations going out to the world that they can join us to be a speaker. Um, and uh, uh, at any different one of these um, days. So um, please share it. And if they know somebody, they can share with somebody else. So. <laughs> Um, we just want uh, everyone to come in and tell them their acts of kindness stories. So, uh, and I have one to tell you on Friday uh, that I did. And uh, I'm just excited uh, for these uh, people who I have worked with to come on and, and tell their stories as well. And, and just join, everybody join Happy Neighborhood Project. It is so much fun. And it's so much fun to go to a different stay at a different day and to share the happiness with everybody else to hear what they're doing and uh it's just it's just been great fun and i'm just real grateful that dr liddy and i were able to sit down uh face to face on zoom talk about building this brand of acts of kindness uh, and bringing them into the schools and protecting my rights as a creator 
uh, as a business owner um, and to making sure that we're ADA compliant. It is so huge. So again, everybody needs to be ADA compliant with their website. Go talk to Trevor Gibbs in Orlando, Happy Neighborhood Projects. Make sure you are ADA compliant. If not, you will be receiving a hefty fine. So we're just trying to get in divine order. Um, and uh, that's what I've been doing the beginning of the week. I uh, got to clean the beach house, got to go swimming, snorkeling. Um, and uh, it's uh, just feeling really nice, like a studio in here and getting the lighting in. Um, and uh, just uh, just real exciting and uh, meeting new people. So books have been sent out. And again, I just ordered more puppets, mini puppets, because people are donating. And I am giving books and a mini puppet of your choice to go with the donation of the books. So uh, I'm either here in the studio or I'm at the post office shipping out books to uh, people. And uh, Lee received his book. And uh, so, wow. And you've received the book, so I need to start giving some homework assignments now. <laughs> Since the Happy Neighborhood Projects, uh, people have received them, and then they can help uh, bring this uh, as a Happy Neighborhood Book Club uh, down the road. So we're just, uh, it's June. Um, we're working on all the projects again to make sure that we are meeting all the standards, requirements, trademarks. So when we market these into the schools, uh, when back to school really hits, um, then we can really talk story uh, even more. And uh, I have updated the uh, sign language chicken, Kurt, the video. So we had changed her background. So uh, we have the palm tree swaying, her eyes are lighting up. Uh, and uh, I, we have just in discussion about how we're going to bring, and if we decide to bring a voice to her, I'm kind of I'm kind of on the fence, Kurt, because I know what it's like to have a hearing loss. I know what it's like to work with a deaf community. And if we don't give a voice, not about a voice, excuse me, if we make it a silent movie, a silent animation of Chelsea the Courageous Sign Language Chicken signing the ASL alphabet and numbers one through nine then you know what it's like to be a person who is deaf or hard of hearing. And I kind of like that idea. It's like a silent movie. I'm giving that concept and watching her kind of mouth it. Now I know she has a beak, not real vocal qualities, but those are just some they're really things to think about. Um, you know, so it's it's a it's a it's a teaching tool. Um, then you have you can really focus on the letters of the alphabet and you're not distracted. By hearing the sound but if i don't do it with the sound then i'm going to have people questioning me well why didn't you do that so it's one of those things on the fence to really think about even with dr liddy is one of those questions because i know it's my creativity and work and i see both sides of the persons with abilities and the persons with the limited ability of hearing so these are all good informations and oh by the way i did uh receive a LinkedIn from Dublin uh who is a well-known book author uh and, and I met her on the North Carolina HNP I believe and um she has several books out there and she's been so kind to connect with me and to guide me and today she just sent me a LinkedIn uh of a website where it's talked about with writers who are writing about fictional characters with a disability. So it can be for, and movies and how just portraying people with disabilities where, yeah, I have worked directly one on one with persons with disabilities as a case manager uh, at an agency with mental health and with a psychiatrist on spot and did that for about five years. So I've, I've seen both sides. And so creating these sign language characters, I've experienced it. So I'm, I'm it's fiction, but it's really the life journey of, of my career path and signing for a deaf person 
and the uh, abilities and, and great fun and the journey that I've got to do over in here in Hawaii. So it was a really, really good article and I really appreciate her and I hope to bring Devlin on also too as a speaker. Um, as a, a famous book author, she's guiding me. She's helped me find uh, the, to tell, you know, buy the, buy the ISBN numbers in bulk because you're gonna have an acts of kindness series. This is gonna be beneficial for me. So guess what I did? And we got them. Now she just sent me this whole beautiful article about writers and writing about people with disabilities to make sure that they're portrayed and that there's outcomes. Um, it can be anything. It can be anything from being diagnosed as cancer. Okay, it's just talking in general, people making movies, the sensitivity, the treatment that they may go through, the challenges, the obstacles, such as, you know, Noah the Hard of Hearing Whale in my book comes down on a Hawaiian vacation and what great fun, why not? And anything can happen. There's boating in accidents, right, Kurt? You, you go out water skiing, we go out sailing. You know, this is recreational fun and we all have to be safe. We all should be taking our boater certification again. Uh, I know we do as sailors, the yacht clubs offer it. So I, I encourage everybody to do that. And it's, you know, more boating season. We're kind of year round here, but we also have the Transpac sailboat races coming. And uh, that's what the story is about. Noah's out there. They're just here on a Hawaiian vacation, having a glow in the dark party with King Octo the eighth. There's a Mariucci band called Shrimplicity playing. And, you know, a black speed goat goes by and uh, Noah gets hit and loses his hearing and he has to get rehabilitated by uh, an angel fish named Angelina Joy Filet and the school of Gilead that swirl by to teach them the ABCs, the ASL alphabet, just like my new video with Chelsea the Courageous Sign Language Chicken. And, uh, and he has Dr. Fingers, the finger spelling hermit crab, which we have the app game, which is an online course in that chapter, ship in clinic. Okay, so Noah learns uh, sign language. He also loses some of his frequencies, his sonar abilities. And again, um, this parallels with Clean Water Foundation, these frequencies that they're gonna be bringing to the Hobi tribe. This 432 Hertz is about grounding and sounding that um, you know these whales and dolphins have these different higher frequencies and what how this all comes together and and uh, losing your hearing and living you know through your journey of life uh, experiences and all that and um, it's just a beautiful story so i'm just real grateful that um, all this is coming together that the universe put this morning by devlin sending me that right before i come on this show to talk about it leon had time to talk to me to send this and to share and express all this and to talk about these sea creatures and especially you know we're going out water safety and, and doing all these activities so it's just a great story and and really reflection so that we can make sure we get the right insight uh, with the books that we're making sure we're ada compliant that we're going to benefit the world with all this information and how we have solutions such as sign language and sign language is a solution for schools um, and especially with these sea creatures so um, i'm just real blessed and real excited again to share these uh, future speakers on transform you media on tuesdays on Pathways to Prosperity on Wednesdays on the Aloha Friday Acts of Kindness. So are you okay at Clubhouse at in the morning, 10 o'clock Hawaii Standard Time or 11 o'clock uh, Hawaii Time for the podcast, going Facebook Live with these speakers, as well as we roll over to Saturday with the Disability Channel and the World of Ability. So, and again, anybody can join us at any, any time. Uh, talking about any type of acts of kindness that you're doing in your community for your business for others and again all classroom teachers can request the books from donors choose as well as this uh folk man as puppets and we got plenty of time this summer to get everybody signed up before back to school hits and uh, the indiegogo campaign is out there and the indiegogo campaign uh is uh you can visit my website www.actsofkindness.website now that's dot website everybody actsofkindness.website. There's the link to the Indiegogo campaign, uh, which again tells my story and introduces the sea creatures. And if you donate, uh, we'll send you a book and a mini puppet of your choice. 
And uh, then it will also take you to the links for the online courses. So each chapter of the book now will have app games for online courses to learn the ASL fingerspelling alphabet and numbers. So just so much going on, but it's so, it feels so good, it's so exciting and just so grateful for the clarity of all these professional people to help me, especially Dr. Liddy uh, and uh, her world-class ability. So we'll have to bring her on the world of ability and world-class ability. What are you going to do, Kurt? You're going to have two women of power and creativity and happiness with the Happy Neighborhood Projects. I mean, wow, world-class ability and visibility ability. <laughs> are you a-okay with that, Kurt? Are you ready? <laughs> okay, I am ready. I'm thinking I might have to get a dance prepared to handle all that vibrant energy ladies are going to be bringing on. <laughs> so, exactly. So very good. So yeah, and we are talking about the Happy Neighbor Project for those out there that um, are trying to figure out what is the Happy Neighbor Project. Go to hmpabc.com, uh, which is the same web page as happyneighborhoodproject.com. So you can uh, go to either one of those pages. It's the same website um the shorter one is just that a short link hmpabc.com um so with that you were talking about um the video you're making and whether the chicken will have a voice or not i did a little google here i did my googles and it says here i typed in the question to google i said what month of awareness is june I was wondering what's going on in June. So it says, since Father's Day falls in June, it makes sense that June is also Men's Health Month. June also serves as the national month for many other health issues. Alzheimer's and brain awareness, aphasia awareness. So I thought, thought it was interesting. You're talking about not having a voice and uh, apparently it's aphasia awareness month. Now in June, wow. I may phase, yes. I may phase, I may phase in and out, but again, that's just, uh, it's just kind of my thought, and we'll have Dr. Liddy help me make that that decision, and to bring uh, all these acts of kindness into future podcasts, YouTube's, etc. But it's great fun, and I appreciate uh, the Fiverr team. Uh, we're working twenty four seven. They're in over in India. Uh, prayers for India and their families, and uh, Kurt. With that 450 million hard of hearing deaf people worldwide, there's 30 million children over in India with a hearing loss. So uh, I'm really excited that we're going to be bringing these uh, characters and that uh, the Fiverr team is over there and they know how special and near and dear of tears and joy that with creating all this amazing work and especially now knowing that uh, Leon McLaughlin with Clean Water Foundation is going to be doing something over in India. It just brings even more tears of joy. Uh, for clean water. And uh, so it's going to be great fun. So mahalo, mahalo to the Fiverr team. Uh, mahalo to Rio Martella, Olelo TV. I hope to have her as well. I gave her a referral to uh, Mark Segal for um, his summit with uh, human trafficking. She's an advocate and she's been an advocate of my project. She's brought me on several times in book interview. Uh, so I hope to bring her on with Olelo TV. And uh, Wow, the list goes on. Devlin and uh, Dr. Liddy. Um, wow, I think we got the next couple of weeks lined up with some great speakers. Uh, and uh, we'll have follow up with the feedback for our previous speakers who actually received a copy of the book uh, and see what they're doing with those finger puppets and how they're interacting with their families. So it's going to be great fun, Kurt. We got lots to do and it's going to be a great summer. And uh, so, yeah, we're getting everything organized with Fiverr, Dr. Liddy, and we'll have more clarification in the future for future podcasts and YouTubes. So, and we are working on Dr. Fingers, finger spelling uh, YouTube video like Chelsea the Courageous Sign Language Chicken. Excellent. We love Dr. Fingers, that's for sure. Yes, where is he? Let's see here. I think I think Dr. Fingers is yes. taking the way. Oh, oh, there's Dr. <laughs> oh, there he is. That's the mini Dr. Fingers. And oh. Kurt, look here, I got the big Dr. Fingers. Right. <laughs> Let's 
put it together right here. <laughs> so. Right, right. So actually, I gotta, I gotta show the graphic designer, see how he comes out of his shell, so then he can do the alphabet just like the chicken. So I gotta make a video to him so he he can do it. But I gotta, I gotta be patient because these guys are amazing and we 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 have time to work on it. And uh, again, I start late at night and I'm up throughout the night checking and responding so that they can enjoy their day and their week off vacation too and and I appreciate Suzanne Sims uh Jennifer Story uh who Suzanne is my co-writer uh and uh working on the second books for editing and Jennifer Story is a special ed teacher over here was a proofreader and she got excited too Kurt because uh I sent her the stuff and she's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to go out and get my iPad updated because I got to start working on this. I'm so excited. So there are people are getting excited to be part of this acts of kindness project and everyone can get involved. So it's great to reach out and, and touch with them, so to speak, uh, and um, making this all, 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 all happen. And then guess what? Just I can't wait for the eyes of 450 million hard of hearing deaf people worldwide, plus the world to actually see these sign language characters uh, in development. So, and uh, more folk manus puppets too. So they're on order again, if anybody donates to the Indiegogo campaign, $20,210 is the goal. And this www.actsofkindness.website will take you to the links and then I will get your information and send you a copy, uh, autograph signed book of Marianne of Waikiki and you'll receive a mini puppet of your choice, such as a hermit crab, a uh, shock of the sign language shark, the general of the New Earth Army sea turtle, and uh, hunky the monk, Effie the hunky monk seal. So they're so great fun to play with and uh, cuddle up to, and they're great gifts. So again, all classroom teachers can get these great gifts of books and puppets for every single student in their classroom. They just need to go on www donorschoose.org and request the books now and we will get fundraising over the next school season so great fun so boating safety class so are you ready for tonight kurt clean water foundation ready for for tonight i'm gonna be out oh as far as with the water skiing and everything yeah 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 Always ready for anything to go with water skiing. So there you go. Uh, and I know last week I also enjoyed your HMB HMP Hawaii session. Um, that's always Wednesdays. Uh, you want to give our audience the lowdown on that um, for seeing if anybody wants to join you for HMP Hawaii. What are the details? How do they? Get yeah, anybody can join us on Wednesdays at three p.m. We have a great. Uh, uh, Joe Peach Graves, uh, the author of uh, um, Mental Wealth. And also he's uh, hosting um, uh, a project too. I'm gonna be going to that afterwards to support him. So uh, he's got people in town working his business. So we'll roll that over. But yeah, that was a crazy windy day last week. We wanted to go on a catamaran. I was entertaining people. I was back in the harbor and uh, the the sand was flying in the lagoon. I mean, it was just crazy fun. If you saw my hair flying, the, like the palm tree sway, it was there, but you know, it was great to get out. I networked. Um, I got to meet Kathleen from CM uh, out of California. It's a company called uh, CM School Supplies who wants to support the book. So I went down and book signed for her. So when she flew over back to California, she could read about that great Pacific garbage patch. So just great, great fun. And I just wanna let you know on Wednesday, so we're gonna be Happy Neighborhood Projects at 3 p.m., okay? And then later that night at seven o'clock in Honolulu, uh, Joe Peach Graves is supporting a Millionaire, millionaire Mindset. Uh, he's got these five events. It's at 111 North King Street, second floor. Uh, and he started it Saturday night uh, tonight or what, last night and tomorrow night, Thursday night and Friday night, starting at seven o'clock for a social mixture. And the speaking starts at seven o'clock. And the guest speaker is Kelly Haupa. So great other future events to be coming to the islands, I am assuming. So we'll find out all that information. So we're gonna go down there and support Joe as well. And uh, 
again, Happy Neighborhood Projects on Wednesdays, 3 p.m. Aloha. Aloha. Let's do it, everybody. Let's get together with our Hawaiian friends and let's do some good networking. So, yeah. uh, so Emily, are you available for another PSA? Uh, you want to come in here and give your little rendition of what you do, your capacity here, and what we're doing downward and upward and prosperity pathways? <laughs> Prosperity Pathways and Onward and Upward help everybody um, or people, every people uh, find employment. Uh, onward and Upward focuses more on homeless people and veterans. Um, onward and Upward, which is a nonprofit as the fiscal agent for the Disability Channel up in Canada. Um, Prosperity Pathways is a for-profit. Um, we have a guaranteed employment program and are helping people find housing as well. Back to you, Kurt. All right, excellent, Emily. So yeah, always great work by Prosperity Pathways and great services with Prosperity Pathways, so Onward and Upward and Prosperity Pathways, um, two great organizations that are founded by one of our great veterans, Anna Maria Bliven. And tomorrow I get the privilege and honor of being on this newer television show uh, that Anna Maria founded uh, called Veterans Onward to Prosperity. So I'm going to come in there as someone who is not a veteran, and I'm going to tell my story about how I've enjoyed years of uh, working in sports and rec and talking about some programs uh, like the water skiing I talk about. And then um, also curling is another sport that is enjoyed by uh, veterans. And then there's an organization called Adaptive Adventures that I've done some volunteering for uh, that takes veterans fishing and um, kayaking and, you know, different adventures like that. So, and there's things of hand cycling and so on and so forth. So our injured wounded vets are being served well in many ways. And so we're going to be talking about that as we produce the uh, veterans onward to prosperity on uh, Wednesday coming up here tomorrow. So um, stay tuned to the disability channel to see yours truly um, in a TV program. These TV programs are aired across the Ontario uh, territory and uh, also available through live streaming all over the world. So in doing some of this work earlier today, uh, we did some follow-up networking with a gentleman by the name of Neil Hitz out of um, Michigan. And he has put together a nice little project called My Life Directory. And so what it is, is it's um, basically a packet that you can get and it's a uh, printing and available in PDF format. And it's something where people at home can put together all their crucial documents. Uh, it's a list of 16 categories, 110 topics, two pages for each category with room to log in location, pertinent information, contact details, uh, blank pages to list custom topics, three pages of definition for legal and medical terms, sequential checklists of steps to take after a death. So the categories are health, financial, legal, real estate, insurance, accounting, charities, internet, day-to-day -day living, residence, records, documents, possessions, personal, my spouse and family, potential conflicts, values, so it just is a little snapshot there that there's a nice little tool to help people kind of culminate things in their life and these different pieces and parts of paperwork and so forth and helps get it organized and it makes it one nice little package deal that people can really feel, um, you know, resolved and accomplished uh, when they put that together. Really with about an hour invested, you really have done yourself a great service. So mylifedirectory.com. And uh, we're getting involved in that to help make this available out to our viewing and listening audience. Um, so with that, we are reaching the 
conclusion of this podcast. Marianne, how did we do? Did we get everything in or do you want to slide something in before we end or are you all set to go? Uh, that's it. Just, uh, you know, join us anytime. Happy Neighborhood Projects. Come join me and be a guest speaker. Um, you know, you don't have to set an appointment. Just show up and be present and, uh, and we're going to be okay on Aloha Friday. Aloha is Marianne of Waikiki. There you heard it. So keeping you going throughout the week and Marianne sharing her compassion and the work that she does. And we thank uh, Marianne for all of the compassionate work that you do and creating such a work product as Acts of Kindness and joining us here at the World of Ability Podcast Network and all of your love out there to Transform Your Media Network with our great friend Marcus Hart, the proprietor, and um, just going on and on and on. So again, I am yours. Kurt Roscoff, pleased as always to be your host here. If there is anything from this podcast or anything I can help you with, feel free to call or text me at 262-372-1-SKI. 262-372-1754. And always feel free to send me an email, Kurt, K-U-R-T, at the Disability Channel dot U-S. And as always, I'm hoping you're following our uh youtube channel for the world of ability podcast network and on facebook our compassionate citizens project page and with that the group for compassionate citizens um so catch all of this and other postings there on all our social media so thanks for being out there everybody and we look forward to being back with you next week aloha